<laughs> Weeping Willow! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we have to take a break. We'll return with more of your favorite game show. Say a kind of free and we oh, hit you with my. a lemon meringue pie. <laughs> John always did have a taste for the really serious intellectual programming. We'll be back with more of Say a Kind of Free and we hit you with a lemon meringue pie after these news headlines. Today is the first day of the city's new dog licensing law. Any dog not wearing a license will be presumed a stray and taken to the dog pound. Oh, I almost forgot about that. I got Odie a license and I have to put it on him. In other news, traffic is stalled on the Coast Highway due to an accident. Workers said cars were blocked when a collision knocked down a large elm tree. Huh? I know you don't like it, but it's for your own good. If they catch you without it, they'll haul you off to the pound. Oh, that would be just awful. No, even I'm not that rotten. There. Now, I'm going back to my favorite show, Say a Kind of Tree, and we'll hit you with a lemon meringue pie. Just any sense of good taste. <laughs> Hope I'm not missing much. <sighs> I gotta get down here where I can just get some... Oh, that feels good. <laughs> no, I don't want to throw the stick. No, I don't want to throw the ball. In fact, I want to throw the ball even less than I wanted to throw the stick. No, I don't want to throw the doggy toy. As hard as it may be to believe, I want to throw the doggy toy even less than I wanted to throw the stick or the ball. But you know what I do want to throw? You had to ask. Uh, oh, his license came off. He's out there where they grab dogs that don't have licenses and take them to the pound. Not my problem. <laughs> License. You won't get away from me, dog. Hey, watch it. Sorry, Pooch, but it's the law. Oh, I'm not asleep. Why can't I sleep? It can't be because I feel guilty about Odie out there without his dog license. It's not my fault it fell off when I threw him out the window. So why can't I sleep? Well, if I can't sleep, I might as well eat. <laughs> this is hilarious. <laughs> oh, this is so Douglas oh, oh, this is good. Oh, 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 it hurts. Oh, oh, can you give me a <laughs> room? Oh, I'm sorry, Mr. Fazblatt. I checked with the judges, and they say mushroom omelet is not the name of a tree, so we cannot hit you with a lemon meringue pie. But now it's time for our home game, where one lucky viewer will get to play Say a Kind of Tree and we hit you with a lemon meringue pie. Home game? You mean someone will be hit with a lemon meringue pie just for saying, oh, I don't know, spruce? I'll get it. 
Uh, yes? Oh, great. You finally won something and it's that? I'll get dinner on the table. Hmm. You call Odie. Odie. Well, no Odie, let's eat. Oh, where's Odie? I'm not serving dinner until Odie is at the table. But that's not fair. I'm here. I'm hungry. I'm... I'm serious, Garfield. No dinner until Odie is at the table. And now go out and find him. But I'm... I'm... Ugh! I'm going to find him. Odie. Odie, yahoo. Odie. 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 Attention, brainless mutt. If you're looking for your dog, I saw him get taken off to the pound. I was afraid of that. Well, this is it. I'm actually walking into a building full of dogs. Voluntarily. Sorry, cat. You see that sign? That means no cats allowed. Lucky, Mom. Someone threw away a perfectly good pussy cat. <laughs> they probably thought he was too fat. <coughs> Hey, you're not exactly supermodel material yourself, lady. All right. I didn't want to resort to this, but it may be the only way to get this license back on Odie. Okay, let's see if I can pass for a dog. Arf, arf, woof, woof. Nah, I don't look stupid enough. Man, how do dogs do this stupid stuff all day? Oh, wow. Well. Arf, yip, 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 yip. Bark, yip, bark. Isn't it a little late to be going out looking for strays? I need one more catch to make my quota for today, Pete. Ahem. <clears throat> Bark, bark. Stray dog with no license. Woof and double woof. <laughs> gotcha! You got me. Okay, doggy. In here with ya. <laughs> Your situation is not hopeless, Odie. Huh? By day, he looks like an ordinary, brainless, too dumb to do anything useful dog. But then, when there's trouble, he instantly transforms himself into Super Garfield, 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 Garfield. Whoa, hey, stop. Put that tongue back where you found it. No, stop. Stop or I'll leave you here, Odie. Better. Now then, you'll need this to get out. How will I get out? Leave it to me. First, you make some noise. Yeah. Hey, hey, what's all the racket? What's... Hey, he has a license on. Let me get a better look at that. Sean Arbuckle. And there's an address. I was sure you didn't have one when I picked you <sighs> up. Now, I better get you back to Mr. Arbuckle right away and apologize. Let me out. I shouldn't be in here. Hello? <laughs> meow. Meow, meow. See you later, Zal. Meow. Meow, meow. Meow. A cat? How did a cat get in here? You shouldn't be in here, cat. True. Open the door and let me out. I'm gonna open the door and let you out. Just as soon as Al gets back. He has the only key. Hey, you can't leave me here like some... some dog. I'm not a dog. 
Dogs are ugly. Dogs are disgusting. <laughs> Stupid, worthless creatures. Dogs are idiots. <laughs> dogs are all over the place. They're all around me. They're, they're, I, I didn't mean what I said. I was talking about other dogs. You know, I, uh, I love dogs. In fact, I am a dog. See? Uh, dog. <laughs> Oh, wow. Rough, rough, rough. You're not buying this for a second, are you? Look, I'd like to take this opportunity to make a sincere apology. Uh, I'm really sorry about this, Mr. Arbuckle. Oh, that's okay. Thanks for bringing my dog home. So that's where you were, Odie. Which brings us to the next question. Where's Garfield? <laughs> yeah, knowing him, he's probably out somewhere having a wonderful time. I love these serious intellectual debate programs. I just called my dentist. He said if I come right over, he can squeeze me in and take care of this toothache. I'm so lucky. If you were so lucky, you wouldn't have a toothache. Since my car's in the shop, I'm gonna have to walk there. If you were so lucky, your car wouldn't be in the shop. See you later. We'll be back with more of our serious intellectual debate program after this news break. Police report yet another daring burglary by Silent Jack, a criminal who has been working on the west side of the city. This is the west side of the city. Silent Jack is said to be extremely dangerous. Citizens are warned to lock their doors and remain alert. Odie, we have to lock our doors and remain alert. Silent Jack is at large. Silent Jack is said to be extremely dangerous. Hey. Now we're completely secure and I won't worry one bit about Silent Jack breaking in here. Not one bit. <laughs> but just in case. <laughs> Gotta make sure everything's locked so Silent Jack can't get in. <laughs> Or even Santa Claus. Aww. Don't worry, I'll open it up for Santa. Watch out! Oh. <laughs> Now you just eat nothing but mush and clear soups for the next few months and you'll be fine. Oh, thanks, Doctor. What's this? Oh, Mr. Arbuckle must have dropped his keys. Uh -uh. 
Ah, oh, well. He'll realize he's missing them, and he'll come right back for them, I'm mm -hmm. sure. <coughs> Laura? Laura? Where are you, Laura? Laura? The stranger in the attic got her. <gasps> Is it possible I'm alone I'm in the house? Alone with the stranger in the attic? You're toast, fella. I should have known when he rang the doorbell. Laura wouldn't have done that. Laura has a key. That was his way of finding out if I was home. Odie, it's only a movie. By the way, you look better from this angle. You're worried about Silent Jack? Oh, that's right. There's nothing to worry about. There are thousands of homes. What are the chances he'd pick ours to rob? What are we worried about? It's just John. But John wouldn't ring the doorbell. John has a key. You know who doesn't have a key? Silent Jack doesn't have a key. Come in! I don't have my key! You're right. That doesn't sound a bit like John. <laughs> Right again. It doesn't look a bit like John. Not with that bulging cheek and that thing on his head. Oh. Wait. We're in luck, Odie. He's going away. We're safe. Oh, that's Me? Scared? <laughs> not for a second. I'm not afraid of anything. Okay. Apart from the thought of Nermal moving in with us, I'm not afraid of anything. <gasps> He's trying to get in the back door. Odie, pull yourself together. This calls for heroic action. Yeah. It calls for bravery and courage. Yeah. And since you're the watchdog around here, I nominate you. <laughs> Coward, chicken, you have all the courage of a mouse. Hey, on behalf of myself and all my relatives, I resent that remark. Squeak, what are you doing here besides eating cheese? Yeah, that's right. A mouse sitting eating cheese. What are the odds? No, I mean, what are you doing here when Silent Jack the burglar is trying to break in? Ah, I don't worry about those guys. They never steal cheese. Squeak, what do I do? One word. Mousetrap. Mousetrap? Where am I going to get a mousetrap? Behind the refrigerator. That's where people put mouse traps. Mouse trap. Good idea. <laughs> what a ghastly noise. Silent Jack isn't very silent. <laughs> What's so funny? I always enjoy it when a human gets caught in one of those. I'm afraid it's not going to be enough to stop him. <laughs> and I'm right. What 
What's he up to? He's trying to get in upstairs. How do we stop him? Another mouse trap? I know. Mm. Ah. John stored this up here because it was too powerful to use. Sorry for him, Odie. Silent Jack is a treacherous, dangerous criminal. But we got him. No, we don't got him. He's coming back for more. You can't stop Silent Jack that way. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna assemble a team of experts, a squadron of fearless and skilled operatives. Will you settle for a puppy and a mouse? Okay, come on. Men, and I call you men even though you're a puppy and a mouse, the enemy is out there. If we're gonna stop him from getting in here, we need a plan. You got one? I think so. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. Roller skate in place, Garfield! Jack, how you doing with the trunk, Odie? <laughs> Jack, everything's in place, let him in. Uh, Roger. Got to me a way in. We did it! We caught Silent Jack! Only the most dangerous criminal around. Get out of here! Be silent, Silent Jack. We're not letting you out. Garfield, it's me, John! Quiet! It doesn't sound anything like John. I know John's voice. That sounded nothing like... <laughs> John! Huh. Hello. <laughs> we did a good job protecting the house, Odie. <gasps> if Silent Jack comes around here, he's in for a big surprise. Unless, of course, he was here while we were all down in the basement. Aww. play ball. Ah, this dog never learns. Fine, let's play my favorite game. Go fetch and sleep outside. Oh, 
Shake the house all you like. I ain't getting up to let you in, Odie. The Xantium repulsor is missing. Hm. If I don't find it, I'll never make it before the Saturnian rush hour. There it is. That curious quadruped life form has really saved the day. How could I possibly repay you, strange earthling? What? Seems like this selfish lasagna devouring orange creature has it pretty easy. It is time to turn the tables and make things right. Woody, stop it. Garfield? Very funny. You almost had me for a moment. Where is Odie, anyway? <sighs> Where's that dreadful stench coming from? <gasps> Ugh, barf. What's with the doggy breath? I better go brush my teeth. How did I end up here? I must have been sleepwalking. Ah, there you are, Odie. What? Come on in, breakfast is ready. Wow, he still can't get my name right after all these years. Mmm, <laughs> lasagna, yummy. Hold it right, dear. If he's Garfield, then who am I? This can't be. Ah! Odie and I have swapped bodies, which means that Odie's eating my lasagna. There you go, Odie. No wonder Odie's breath is so unpleasant. I'm not eating that. Back off, Odie. Those lasagnas are mine. Right. Let's not panic now. Let's just... Odie, are you trying to tell me something? Yes, yes, yes. John, John, it's me, Garfield. I'm trapped in Odie's body. Do something. Oh, I get it, Odie. You need some exercise. <laughs> oh, what's the matter, Odie? Can't breathe. Must be a nightmare. That's it. Wake up, Garfield. Wake up. Odie's watching my favorite TV show in my favorite seat. In my body! <laughs> Come on, Odie. Let's run another couple of blocks. I've had enough sport for a lifetime. Oh. <laughs> Arlene, it's me, Garfield. Yeah, right. And I'm the Queen of England. Arlene, wait! I'm really Garfield and I can huh? prove it. Last year, I accidentally ate all your birthday cake. And and remember I, I fell asleep in front of the TV on our first date? Thanks for bringing back such good memories. What on earth are you doing in Odie's body? Hey, you tell me. Maybe that's what you get for always being so mean to Odie. You're right. I always treated him like a dog. 
And now I am one. Oh, cheer up, Garfield. Just think of all the new things you can do now that you're a dog. Like what? Run after my tail all day and drink out of the toilet? Hey, Arlene! Hey, Odie! Isn't it an awesome day? You know what, Arlene? You may have a point. <laughs> hey, this is fun. Buddy, are you insane? These dogs have a death wish on me. Buddy, come back here. Garfield, this is your one and final mistake. Leave me, uh, leave him alone. Odie, what's your problem? You're protecting Garfield? Yeah. Can you think of one nice thing that feline ever did for you? One nice thing? Uh, one nice uh, thing would, uh, no. My lucky bone! Booty, bad dog, cat. <laughs> now hush. Stay where you are, okay? Which way did that cat go? Wait! How do we know you're telling the truth? I swear, dog's honor. <laughs> oh, wow, that was hairy. Come on, Odie, let's go home. Odie? Odie? Where are you, you miserable... Odie, no! Yeah! This could be my lucky day. The day I finally get rid of that pesky vermin once and for all. Yeah, I'm sending you to Ooga Dugu. Help! Someone call the cops! That psycho postman stole my body! <laughs> Are you in there? Dog's claws are so dull. Hey, what do you think you're doing? Another example of cat's immense superiority over dogs. Dogs don't land gracefully on four feet. There he is. I just risked my life for a laptop? Where'd that stupid cat go? Come back here, you four-legged thief! Oh, boy. Buddy, wait! This way! Not good. This way! Come back here, you orange nuisance! Not that way, Odie! This way! No way out. This is it, Odie. For what it's worth, I'm sorry for being mean to you, old friend. Goodbye, Odie. I better check how my quadruped friend is doing. My seven dreams. <laughs> I guess I shouldn't have interfered in the first place. Let's fix this mess before it gets ugly.
My delicate whiskers. My wonderful orange fur. I'm me again. I'm Garfield. At least things are back to normal. All things considered, the chair is big enough for two, isn't it, Odie? I'm too busy to play right now. I'm making my special double-wide, triple-cheese meat and meteor lasagna for Liz's birthday. Nah. Can't have you underfoot just now, boy. But here's a nice bone for you. be meatier than the one yesterday, or else. Mm -mm. Uh, tomorrow, see if we can get him to give you more of those doggy biscuit treats I love so much. <laughs> Almost done. In other news, our rare alignment of cosmic forces will occur tonight. Professor Harlow Planfriends explains. You know that smell. I know that smell, and I love that smell. Jess, the dog star Sirius, otherwise known as Alpha Canis Major, is in a unique position with regard to the star Canopus, and are both in unprecedented alignment with the moon. Now, you say this could have a strange effect on dogs on this planet? Only the very stupidest ones. In fact, a dog would have to have almost no IQ points at all to be affected. Well, what have we here? <gasps> Lasagna. Take a good look at it, folks. It won't be here for much longer. Oh, no, you don't. It's lasagna. I have to eat it. That's what I do best. That lasagna is for Liz's birthday party. If you so much as touch it, I'm not feeding you until her next birthday. Or the one after that. Or the one after that. All right, all right. I get the message, Mr. Subtlety. I'm leaving this here to cool overnight. Don't. Just don't. Hey, I have willpower not to eat this lasagna. No, I don't. Yes, I do. No, I don't. Maybe just one taste. All right, all right. So there'll be one lasagna in the world that doesn't get eaten by me. It had to happen eventually. Oh, hi, boy. Did you enjoy that nice bone I gave you? Well, the lasagna can cool overnight. <sighs> Maybe I'll turn in early. Amazing. I thought for sure Garfield would devour that lasagna, but it seems he's managed to put it completely out of his mind. Oh, 
will not eat that lasagna. I will not eat that lasagna. I will not eat that lasagna. Why can't I convince myself? I don't care how much my stomach growls. I am not going to eat that lasagna. What's that? Did you hear anything in here? Uh uh. I can't imagine what made that. <gasps> Lasagna for 10 people! Gone! And I think it's pretty obvious who ate it. Garfield! <laughs> What's the big idea? Garfield, you ate lasagna for 10 people! I did? Well, I don't remember that. <laughs> I meant what I said, Garfield. I'm never going to feed you again. Good night. But I, um, that is, I didn't, I, maybe I did. It's come to this. Not walking in my sleep, but eating in my sleep. Sorry I ate that lasagna. And I didn't even know it. <sighs> oh, I bet it was good. I was too rough on Garfield, saying I was never going to feed him again. I'll tell him he'll get food again in a year or two. Garfield, I was thinking that never is a long time not to eat, so... <gasps> Garfield, how could you do this? Ugh. Garfield, how could you do this? And don't tell me you didn't do this. <laughs> if you didn't, who did? Uh, maybe the pup? Don't try to pin this on poor, sweet, harmless Odie. Odie couldn't do something like this. I've had it with you, Garfield. <laughs> I hope you brought me some doggy treat biscuits. Well, where are they? <laughs> what? No doggy treat biscuits? I warned you, runt. <laughs> You're not getting away from me that easy. <laughs> When I get my paws on you, you'll learn to take orders! <laughs> now I got you trapped, runt. Uh, I was just kidding about the doggy treat biscuits. Uh, you can have them all. In fact, you can have mine. Uh, I never liked them. I hope the TV still works. I have been continuously telling everyone the odd alignment of the stars and the eclipse could turn a dog into a savage, out-of-control monster. Gee, could that have happened to Odie? Of course, it would only happen to a dog who was really and truly stupid. Uh, that would be our Odie. Garfield, I may owe you an apology. Let's go find Odie, quickly! I mean, oh! I have a hunch I know where he is. <laughs> Ah, 
There you are, boy. Are you okay, Odie? I think we'd better take you to see that professor we saw on the news. I called the TV station and got his address. He's on Century Boulevard. There's an all-night pizza place on Century Boulevard. Oh, no. There's a policeman signaling to pull me over. What's the rush, pal? Well, he's really going to believe this. It's my dog, officer. We think he may be turning into a huge, crazed monster. <sighs> no, honest. A professor on TV said it was possible. We're going to see him right now. Roll down the window and let me have a look at this monster of a dog. <laughs> that cute little puppy. A monster. <laughs> 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 See what happened? Nope. Huh? That's just your basic Odie. <laughs> well, just in case, let's get him to that professor as quickly as possible. <sighs> Sorry to wake you up so late, Professor, but we were worried. Is that your dog might be turning into a monster because of the pattern of the moon and stars? Yeah. I don't think that's possible. Not with such a harmless little creature. <laughs> also, he does appear to be quite stupid. We had to come to a professor for that news flash? But what if it is true? Even if it is true, it does not matter. The particular alignment of stars that caused the change, it is over now and will not occur again until the year 3459 on a Tuesday. <sighs> well then, problem solved. If it ever even was a problem. Besides, I have to deal with the following alignment of the moons and stars. It may cause an eclipse that will affect cats. Cats? Cats? <laughs> yes, but not to worry. If it does happen, it will only affect a very small number of cats. Which cats, Professor? Only the ones that consume vast quantities of Italian food. <laughs> I think I'll go see if that all-night pizza place is open. I smell something terrific. I smell something baked and terrific. Oh. John is baking pies. No bread, no cake, no pies. Be oh, bread and cake and pies. <laughs> no, maybe muffins. <laughs> muffins, tarts, rolls, maybe cookies. I'm baking dough balls, Garfield. Maybe Danish, maybe prune Danish, maybe dough balls. We're driving to the cove to go fishing today. Dough balls make great bait to catch fish. <laughs> Yuck. What a cruel thing to do to a fish. Hi, Pupster. Going fishing with John? No, not me. You won't catch me out in that leaky boat of his getting seasick. I know, no, no, I don't care about the beautiful scenery. The only beautiful scenery I want to see is right here. 
If you're looking for food, Garfield, I packed everything to take on the fishing trip. <laughs> Ah, fishing. The most glorious sport in all the world. Ah, fishing. The most glorious sport in all the world. Nah, I don't care about the fish, but I'll do anything for lunch. The water's so peaceful in this little cove. You know, guys, catching fish isn't the important part. It's the peace and the serenity and just being out in nature that matters. Fishermen always say that when they've been out three hours and haven't caught so much as a sardine. I don't care if I catch a fish. It doesn't matter to me one bit if I catch... <laughs> a fish! I've got a fish on my line! I did it! I did it! John did it! John did it! Alert the media. Hey, there he is! Oh, he's a beaut! He's an hors d'oeuvre. There we go. I knew my dough balls were the perfect bait. I'll put an even bigger one on and catch a bigger fish. Pasta and Alfredo sauce. I don't care if you are thirsty. Hey, we're surrounded by water. Try some. Find food. Gotta find food. Uh -oh. Ooh, that was close. Chopper almost spotted me. Now what was I doing? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Looking for dinner. Hey, there's something. Yeah, a dough ball. No fish in his right mind would fight under one of those things. A one, Mama's favorite food. Oh. Mama will be so happy with this worm. Mama, Mama, look what I brought ya. Junior, you can't keep a dog down here. A dog? Oh, that's funny. I thought he was a warning. What's wrong with him, Mama? He's a dog, Junior. He needs air. Oh, well, uh, where can he get some? Hi, Mom. Hi, Junior. Hey, I know that dog. He needs air. He sure does. Hey, Bernie. Bernie Blowfish. That dog, he saved my life a little while ago. Now we gotta save his. You're full of air. Sure thing, Red. I'll give him one of my big, beautiful bubbles. Where's Odie? Odie? <laughs> That's funny. We're out in the middle of the cove and there's no sign of him. I guess he fell overboard. <laughs> fell overboard? Odie! <gasps> Ladies and gentlemen, I'm about to do my one heroic deed for the year. Huh? <sighs> Odie! Odie! Where are you? He must be a goner. He couldn't breathe down here. Thanks again for throwing me back, dog. 
There's an orange cat running out of air over there. Friend of yours, dog? Yeah. Come on! <laughs> Well, this is a nice place you got here. Your friend here saved my life. Would you like a little tour of the bottom of the cove? Oh, yeah, sure. We really like it down here. It's wet, but it's home. Well, it looks like rush hour. This is the main underwater thoroughfare. Ooh. And there's our traffic cop. <laughs> Does he ever give out traffic tickets? Uh, only when he catches someone swimming over the speed limit. This is one of those new fast food places that are popping up. They have a swim through window. Anything tasty to eat? I'm famished. <laughs> Would you like a worm to go? I'm not that famished. That reminds me. I promised to find Mama a worm. Uh, see you later. The seahorses are at the starting gate. The track looks fast, but a little wet. Well, it looks like some sort of uh, race track. It is, and it looks like a race is just about to start. And there they go. Sea Biscuit is off corner of the eight, followed by Pony Boy, Little Squirt, and Amphibian up the rail. Approaching the finish line, Pony Boy and Sea Biscuit. Pony Boy and Sea Biscuit. And it's Sea Biscuit, the winner. Chopper! That's my brother. It's Chopper. We gotta do something. I think I know. Hey, hey! Run! Uh-oh. I'm fish food. Here, fella, have a dough ball. I caught another fish? Chopper's heading out of the coat and into the ocean. You saved us. Again. How can we show our appreciation? Well, the air's getting a little thin in here, so if you don't mind. Certainly. Barney? At your service. <laughs> Going up? Whoa. Garfield? Odie? They must have gotten knocked overboard along with most of my gear. Oh, no. No! They were such wonderful friends. Huh? So cute. So adorable. <clears throat> Don't try to cheer me up, Garfield and Odie. I'm missing Garfield and Odie. Three, two, one. Garfield! Odie! You're safe! You're safe! <clears throat> Not if you keep hugging us like that. Let's celebrate. <laughs> we'll have lunch. Except that there's no lunch. We're stuck here until somebody comes by and rescues us. Stuck out here with nothing to eat? In the meantime, uh, dough ball? Uh, no thanks. I've seen what those things do to fish. <laughs> Don't worry. Someone will be along soon. I'm sorry all we have to eat are these dough balls. Ugh. Yeah. 
real sorry. Uh, could you pass the mustard, Odie? Oh. <laughs>